fantastic. So, today I have a new DIY for y'all. It's a new recipe. I'm so excited. I am making a Gushers cake. Y'all know Gushers the candy. It's the little, like, gummy thing filled with, like, juices. Not sponsored. <laughs> um, I love Gushers personally. So, I was like, why not make a Gushers cake? Now, the cake isn't only going to be covered in Gushers. It is going to be one giant Gusher. It's going to gush when I cut into it. So, that's all. <laughs> that's all appetizing. <laughs> so let's see the ingredients. We've got cake mix, which I'm going to spice up. Well, not literally spice up. But I'm going to make it all gusher-ish. You'll see. We got so many gushers. I'm just saying. Will you take me as your wife? We got food coloring, flavorings, jello. <laughs> My secret ingredient. Oh, there's the microwave. <laughs> and we got the queen, Pamela. Cannot leave her out. She's a main ingredient. And we got frosting. Now, I know that some of these things are like instant cake mix. Frosting already made, stuff like that, but it's only because this this recipe is already very complex So I was like I have to make it a little simple, you know what I'm saying? So just stay tuned. We're gonna make something delicious. It's gonna be insane The jello is actually going to be the filling in our cake. It's gonna gush out y'all So first step we're gonna make the jello. Here's my very hot water So all I'm gonna do is take my jello mix. I got cherry flavor because I want to like a red gusher look, you know I'm gonna open it up and pour this into the hot water. Oh, yes. Now, this should all dissolve fairly quickly. Hit that subscribe button to become a juicy red tomato. Y'all, they should make tomato jello. It will be the jiggliest of all the jellos. I'm just gonna take a, a butter knife because it's clean. I'm just going to mix this up. Ooh. I'm always spilling. So because this recipe is pretty easy, you could literally make this for like a birthday or like a bachelorette party. I mean, you could just add like a big titty on top of it. I don't know. <laughs> so once all the jello powder is dissolved, I'm just gonna put this in the fridge after it cools a bit and I'm just gonna let it turn into jello. <laughs> this is therapeutic. <laughs> Okay, so now it's time to make the actual cake, you guys. So I got a bowl here. It has to be green like a juicy booger <laughs> or else the cake will not work. The cake will not rise. It will not function. It will just be a pancake in the oven, okay? Just kidding. Oh, my God. <laughs> just kidding. I'm using a box, so it's going to work no matter what. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like making like a homemade cake from scratch with like butter and flour and all that stuff. But today's one of those days I was like, there's gushers in this video. I don't need to have butter in it. You know, butter's just gonna be outshined. So I'm gonna pour my cake mix. Oh, these scissors are crap. <laughs> I'm gonna pour <laughs> my cake mix into my bowl. And now it's time to follow what the box says. So it says one third cup of vegetable oil three egg whites or three whole eggs. I'll do the whole eggs. I don't got time to separate the chicken fetus from the chicken juices, you know? And then also one and one fourth cups of water. So let's do the water. Ah! My chair just won't stop screaming. Did that joke in old last video? No, it did not. <laughs> Perfecto. Now I'm gonna add the three eggs. Okay, we got the three siblings in there. Perfect. So now I'm just gonna mix all of these ingredients up together, but we're not done with this batter, just so you know. Play the music. But every time I fart around you, you treat me like a piece of trash. Your stank bitch ass face. Okay, so we have our perfect cake batter right here. It looks amazing. But now we're gonna add some gusher flavor and gusher color. So I was thinking that I could do like a blue color because I don't know, it's just gushery. It's blue, okay? This is like a light sky blue. It's gonna be so pretty. Any more? For the flavoring? Oh my god, y'all, it's gonna stain me. I'm gonna look like a damn smurf ass. And then for the flavoring, I saw that there is a tropical flavor of gushers. So I was thinking tropical, right? Let me find a tropical flavoring. <laughs> Do I have a tropical one? I don't think I have tropical. Okay, that's fine. I guess we'll just put some uh, orange? Let's do orange. That'll taste real fresh and almost like a burst of flavor. Burst, gush, get it? Okay, there's some orange oil, perfect. Just a little bit, just a little bit goes a long way. Now I'm just gonna mix up this blue batter. Yes, oh my God, you guys, the orange smells so good. Oh my God, it smells so good already. 
to accept my rotten trash gas or you can go straight to hell okay you guys this batter is literally perfect it smells so good it smells like one of those like orange dreamsicles you know what i'm talking about like those little popsicles that have like the ice cream inside and the orange on the outside oh it smells so good okay so i have some cake pans here okay i just made two of these i'm gonna make two layers of this cake this smells weird whatever oh, it smells really bad what is that Ooh. I'm just gonna spray them both with Pamela. This is the baking version, not sponsored, but I think it has flour in it. <laughs> so that's just a party in a can. It'll make the cake pop out easier if it has flour in it. So Slay Me, once again, not sponsored. I just love my queen, Pamela. Slay Me Queen. If Pamela ever tweeted me, I think I would fart and shark in my pants. Let me just spray. And now I'm going to very equally separate the cake batter into both cans, equally. Okay. Okay. You can sniff my ass and munch on my dirty crack. So this looks pretty even to me. I think I am perfection once again and I did it perfectly. So now before I put them into the oven, I'm just gonna bang them onto the table to get all those air bubbles out of the cake. <laughs> They're going in the oven. They're going in the oven. It's gonna be hot in there like me. I'm hot. So the cakes are in the oven. And I thought while they're in there, I'm gonna separate my gusher colors. Okay. When I bought all these gushers, I bought four boxes. I didn't realize that half of them are strawberry splash and half of them are tropical flavors. And so that means half of all the gushers are gonna be red. Now I was thinking my cake could be like a perfect rainbow look, but I don't think that's gonna happen because they're mostly red. So I'm gonna figure it out, but for now I'm just gonna separate the reds from the other colors. So enjoy watching, enjoy the musical entertainment. I'll be with you never, cause my fart is forever. Okay, y'all, so I just finished. <laughs> okay, y'all, so my jello is partially hardened. It's like jiggly, but it's still kind of liquid. You feel me? I'm gonna add a handful of my red gushers, and I'm literally just gonna plop them in. Oh, I love that sound. Maybe like that much, that's good. I'm just gonna mix this in so that as it finishes setting, the gushers will kind of be in it. I'm just gonna mix it up. Oh yes, oh yes. And I didn't put the gushers in while the mixture was hot because it would have melted the gushers. So this is perfect. They are in there. I'm gonna let this finish, getting firm. So my cakes are done and now it's time to prepare them. I'm just gonna pop the cake out. Pamela did her job, y'all. And I'm just going to even out the top because it is a bit uneven, just like it was. Perfect, beautiful. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one. So now I'm gonna put this one back in its pan. And with my clean hands, I'm just going to grab some of the insides of this cake and just pull it out. <laughs> a lot of people would choose to use a utensil for this part. I'm using the forks that God gave me. Yay, okay. And now, in this one, I'm gonna do the same thing, but just a little less probably. Okay, I can't go too deep. Oh my God, okay, I think I just messed it up. You can even kind of like squish it down a bit just to compact the crumbs back inside. Perfect. So now, I'm gonna take my blue frosting. Oh my God, that is so blue. Like that is blue, blue. That is so pretty. I'm gonna take a little knife and I'm just going to scoop some out and just put it all around the crater. It's like an asteroid just hit my cake. <laughs> Did you know I've got guys lined up waiting to sniff my fart? So this is perfect, there we go. It's real sweet. <laughs> Ooh. Now I'm gonna take my Jello and Gushers mixture. I'm just gonna stir it a bit more to break up the Jello a bit into like clumps. Now I'm just going to spoon the mixture into the crater. Oh my god, this is gonna be so Gusherish. I'm so excited. Oh, ah! yes. Oh yeah. Oh yes. And I can add a little extra, like a little mountain, because I made the other dent in the top cake too. So that is perfect, you guys. Our gusher is filled. And now I'm gonna very carefully pop, oh my God, this is, okay, okay. There's a hole, there is a damn hole. Oh my God, oh my God. 
Okay, we're good. You know what? This is fine. Let me just put some frosting in it. <laughs> That'll work. Okay. <laughs> Great. So our cake is filled. Oh my y'all, it's jiggly. <laughs> y'all see it jiggling? <laughs> I love it. This part might be a bit scary because I have to ice the whole cake. Yet the cake is very crummy. So I'm a little nervous. I got my cake spatula here. I'm ready to slay. Okay, okay. And I do want a thick layer of frosting because this is what's gonna make our gushers stick to the cake. This is going better than I expected, honestly. My farm might smell like a hard boiled egg, but you should still love me the same. For better or worse, for cleaner for stink. Great, it doesn't have to be perfect because it's gonna be covered by gushers. I think I did a better job than with some of my past cakes, to be honest. <laughs> so now I'm gonna take all my gushers and I'm gonna take my time and make a beautiful gusher design. I'm just gonna go with it. <laughs> There's frosting all over the floor. God help me, go, go. Now, the dogs are trying to come eat it. They cannot eat this, it's dangerous. Okay. I got the frosting. Let's do this. Play the music. I'll keep farting till I find the person that's right for me. Until then, I'm happy with the warm ass gas inside of me. You guys, how? Beautiful is this cake! It's done. I cannot wait to cut it open and see the filling, the gusherness. I don't know why, but it like reminds me of those like little balls from um, Inside Out, the movie. Oh my god, so cute, y'all! It looks so juicy, does it not? Like y'all, this is what satisfying looks like. Am I right? It looks so satisfying. Let's cut it open. Oh my god, I'm nervous. Okay, please gush. It's <laughs> gonna like. Okay. Ooh, nice slice. Okay. Oh my god. Ooh! Y'all, I pretty much made a big gusher. This looks delicious. I can't wait to taste the jello inside. I'm so proud of this. I think it looks amazing. Let's taste it. Okay, y'all. I'm ready to taste this. Jello and all. <laughs> Let me get some jello, some cake, some frosting, and some gusher. It's hard to get it all in one bite, y'all. What is happening? I'm struggling here. Okay. <laughs> Let's taste it. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Instantly a burst of flavor. <laughs> Mmm, y'all, oh my god. There's something about the gusher texture with the cake that is so delicious and so satisfying. You would think that like chewy and cake wouldn't go well together. It does. So delicious, literally so much flavor. Even the jello tastes good inside. I'm shook. This is iconic. And it's actually very easy to make. <laughs> You're welcome. Mmm, 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 mmm. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> that was great. <laughs> I'm snared. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you watch this whole video, you are the truest tomato in all the patch. And so I know who you are. Leave a comment that says, that's the shiniest cake I've ever seen. Cause it is. <laughs> I'll see you guys, go check out my other videos. I tasted McDonald's whole breakfast menu. It was so fun. What else did I do? I mixed every Dorito flavor together and made a giant Dorito. It was insane. And on my second channel, I posted a brand new limited edition Pocahontas doll review. She's worth $200. Super interesting to watch. Even if you're not a doll lover, it's a really beautiful item. So go check out all those videos. I'll see you in the next video. I love you so much. Ooh, boo, boo.